So I want to talk a little about how, how do we get ready? What's some things you got to worry about as far as how much weight they can carry? Uh, some things we need to, to know to be able to take care of the animal on the trail. And, and so I want to talk to Steve a little about that today. You know, I've seen Eric, I've seen some of these animals that they're just natural. They want to get in there and pull the weight. They don't, they'll get in there and put a pack outfit and they'll go, you know. And uh, you think, wow, all, all donkeys are like that, all mules are like that, but they're not. Right. They're different ones, you know, just like, just like there are some people that uh, they, they, they love to exercise and other people, they don't want nothing to do with right. exercise, you know. But you cannot say, okay, I want you to have, uh, you can do 20% of the animal's weight on, on the back and that's it. Uh, or you put a percentage weight on it. Well, because you hear that a lot. You hear, yeah, you, a lot of folks will say, well, the animal should carry 20% of its weight. Yeah. But Every animal is going to be different. That's right, yeah. The biggest thing we got to think about is on their hooves. It doesn't make any difference if it's a 1,500 pound animal or a 500 pound animal. We have a tendon that goes right up the back. And we want that tendon to feel like a broom handle. Okay? Not, and I'm not talking crispy hard like that, but you want it firm. Where you have problems is a bow tendon. I don't mm -hmm. care how many times you've probably ridden that mule, you know, uh, f five days a week, and now you get ready to go hunting over the past three months, and you get ready to go, and all of a sudden he's got a bow tendon. It's just as easy to get a bow tendon as it is for you and I to twist an ankle on the side of the hill. You never know what's going to happen. You can't say all donkeys can only carry 10%. All mules can only carry 15%. Every mule, every donkey is going to be different. You need to learn their heart and respiration. That's important. You need to learn that when you start seeing their, their ears starting to get sweaty along the bottom, they're starting to get starting hot. To work. Yeah, they're working a little bit. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's things like that to consider. Well, now, if i got a big draft mule, can I put 400 pounds on him? Heck no. But he's huge. Heck no. He's huge. He's got that huge body. Right. But he's got that donkey foot. Right. He's got that donkey tendon and leg. Sure, he's big boned, and yeah, he's got a good hind quarter, but he's still got the tendons, you know. Uh, basically, at the Grand Canyon, and for most stables, 200 pounds, that's it. Sometimes, so some stables, when they're going out for a couple hour ride, they got an old Belgian horse they've had out and back for a 300 pound guy. They take him out, they go over the, the two hour trip, then the horse gets the rest of the year off. You know, he's right. done his job for the year. Just because they, they're big and huge and this sort of thing don't mean a thing. What means something is you understanding the animal. Right. When they start to overheat, get off. Pick up the back of the saddle. Lift it up and down. Cool those back off. With your equipment, as great as it is, it's nice, it's light, it's easy to work, it's easy to take off. You know, in, in less than 15 minutes, you can have your mule packed, you know. Right with this light equipment. Lift up the back of the saddle and cool the back off, you know? But when you start, when you start watching their heart and respiration, you look over your shoulder and you see them, them nostrils flaring, you know? Or you see that nose sticking out like this where they're on the end of the lead rope, you better stop and take yeah, a break. They're getting tired. I mean, I spent years carrying a pack on my back, you know, and uh, a lot of weight. And uh, I know what it feels like to be a pack animal, and so yeah. I know if, if, if we're on a, a, a good hard trail and I've got, say, another mile to go and that last mile is steep, I'm going to stop and take a break, mm -hmm. you know, and there, yep. there's nothing wrong with on, if you're on the trail and you're headed to somewhere to stop, take a break, pull, if you need to pull the panniers off and pull the pack saddle, lay it out, let them, let, them, let them rest a minute, and they'll stand there and they'll rest, they'll stand still, just like you would. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be in a hurry to get where you're going. I, I think the key thing, like you and I were talking about, we're not out there to be at a time frame. We're out there to enjoy life. Right. You know, sure, we want to get back there and get a camp set, you know. But if your animal is, is on, the play, on the verge of, hey, I'm done, you better take a few minutes. Fifteen minutes could probably cause you, uh, could give you a lot more than it would take away. You know, right, a lot. Right. You know, and you know, we talk about that 20% rule, okay. You hear that a lot, and, and um, but now, that said, I've got animals that that's probably what I'd put on about 20%, you mm -hmm. know, but I think the key here, when we're talking about carrying weight, is know your animals, yeah. know their abilities. And, and yeah. I've got some animals that, you know, part of it is, is their will to please and their drive, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got some animals that I can, I can put a pack saddle on one of my jennies and I can point her to the trail and she is ready to go. 
Yeah. I mean, I'll let her go. She's Neat. she's yeah. going to be leaving because she she loves it. Her she ears are it. up. Yeah. You know, and and I you know I I don't know what she can carry because I've never really you know done that. But sure. I, I I guarantee whatever I ask her to do, she would do it. Yeah. But now you know there's there's some things we talked about here. Be careful about that because you can hurt your injure your animal. Even though they want to do it and they'll try for you, yeah. you can overweight them so and and hurt them. So terrain, how far how far are you going? How yeah. steep is it? Uh, you know how much of they have they have they trained? Are are they and do they have that will to please? I mean those are all factors mm -hmm. when it comes into uh, to carrying weight. So when somebody asks me how much weight can that donkey carry, well that's a loaded question. Yeah, I can't I can't give you a solid percentage no okay i can't do that you, you need to be aware of the animal right watch for that sweat along the bottom of the ears watch for their heart and respiratory watch those things mm -hmm. we have had animals like at the grand canyon that have packed up and down that sucker that knew that stuff you know and then got got in trouble you know right. uh, you got to think those those pack meals for instance who pack them up that day and they average probably right around 180, 200 pounds. Pack them up that morning, they go down to the bottom. They get a few hours rest, they come back up. Right. Okay. They go down with eggs and beer, they pack trash out. Right. Okay. But still, the, 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 the basic industrial standards is 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. 60 pounds each side. Okay. Then load your other stuff in the middle. And... Right and packing it to where they're comfortable you know mm -hmm. that's one thing about what you've done with your pack equipment it's it's way ahead of its time a lot of us including myself are still packing with a lot of the old ideas which is good you know i mean i i enjoy the the old packing that i do box box hits double diamonds mm -hmm. <clears throat> different things but your stuff for the mr and mrs hunter that's going out there your stuff for for going out, and I've got the, the equipment on the on the back of my uh, saddle, and I go out and I drop an elk. I get off, I put that stuff on my bags. It don't weigh nothing. It's tough. I put it in there, and I can go. 